Now he can scrape data from any website without writing a single line of code. By using an app called Browser Act, which allows you to scrape information from anywhere that you want, whether it's Amazon product listings or the latest AI news. The best part, you can do all of this just by typing simple prompts in a beginner friendly interface. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how step by step. So by the end of this video, you will also be able to scrape anything that you want, exactly as the title of this video suggests. And as a bonus, I will also show you how you can use Browser Act's powerful API to supercharge your N10 automations. So so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that you have to do is to go over to browserac.com and I will leave a link for them in the description below. Make sure you go and sign up to it so you can follow along with this video. And now that we're in this page, I want to show you a little bit about how it actually works. Well, as you can see over here, it basically allows you to scrape anything from a simple text interface. Every day you come and you simply log in, they also give you 500 completely free credits, which means that your credits keep refreshing every time you log in, which is a super good deal if you're asking me. So the first thing that you have to do is to obviously come over here and create your account and after you create your account you will be brought over in this interface now do not get intimidated by this guys this is actually super simple to navigate the first amazing feature that i have that i definitely want to show you is the ai agents feature where you're basically able to create any scraping ai agent you want with just a simple text from and just so you see how this actually works all you have to do is to come over here click on the create button and then you can name your agent let's name him scraping agent for example and then you can also give a description if you want i will just leave it empty and I will come over here click on create and then this interface opens up now as you can see over here to the left we have the instructions which is basically all the prompts that we're going to put over in our AI agent telling him exactly what we wanted to do so let's say for this example we want to build an Amazon scraper that constantly looks for the best possible deals for MacBook Pros that have a 16 inch screen all we would have to do is to come over here and say create a scraper that scrapes Amazon US finds the best possible deal for MacBook Pros with M1 chips that have 16 in its screens so that's basically all we have to type over here in the agent manager or if you wanted something very specific you obviously need to explain it over here but for this example we don't really need to because this prompt is more than enough and then if we come over here to the right we can see the other options that we can either enable or disable for our AI agent over here you can see we have browser control where we basically can select the region and since we wanted to be in the USA we will simply select USA obviously you want your agent to scrape something that's in another country you come over here and you input that country then over here in the set general if you actually leave this on this enables the agent to search the web and synthesize the information from multiple different sources so this is a super useful feature that you should definitely have on in basically all of your ai agents then you have the search social feature which actually enables the agent to access public decisions across multiple communities and forums which for our ai agent is not going to be needed but if you're scraping different forums and you want basically to get updates on those then this is definitely a pretty useful feature then you have the search finance function where it basically is able to search publicly available financial information and the search news which is again to search the latest news so for this example i will leave all of them on then if we come over here to the top we can also select which gpt model we want to use now you can see if you choose the mini model it obviously is going to take less of your credits and the results are not going to be that far apart guys if i'm going to be honest but since i want the best possible results for this video i'll simply select chat gpt 4.1 and then over here the temperature you can basically set this to how random you want the outputs to be since i don't want my outputs to be random i will keep it pretty low and now if i want to i can actually come over here and publish this or save this as a draft so i can use it whenever i can do it from here and if i want to test it i can navigate over here to the run section and then i simply need to give it instructions so for our example i could come over here and say scrape amazon.com for the best prices for macbooks m1 and then if i want i can come over here and enable incognito mode which if i actually enable this it is going to do all the scraping in an incognito tab which i would definitely suggest you to enable and then you can come over here click on send and boom as you can see right now it is in step one where it is initializing the task and as you can see right now we can see the live browser preview you can see that it went over to amazon.com completely by itself now let's see what it is going to do right now it is sensing for macbook pros m1 only for the 16 inch model because if you remember these are the instructions that we put over here in the build section and as you can see right now it is sorting through all of them to find the best possible deal and right now it told us that there are no special discounts 
discounts for these MacBooks, which is fine, but right now I will basically tell it which one has the lowest price so I can go and buy it. And boom, guys, as you can see, it did step number two, where it extracted structured data. It looked at all the visible data and it summarized them and it tells us this deal, where it basically tells over here all the specifications, tells us that it's renewed, and it gives us the lowest possible price, which is $739. And over here, it also gives us an Amazon URL, which if we actually come over here and we copy this and we come over in our browser and we paste it in we can see that this populates the best possible deal that Amazon has right now for a MacBook M1 which is just $739 now this item does not deliver to me because I'm over in Europe I'm not in the US but you get the point like if you use browser act you will basically never again have to go and search through a billion listings to find the best possible deal all you have to do is to type a simple prompt and then browser act is going to go scrape everything that you need and give you the best possible possible deal and the best part is you can do this with basically every website you don't need to just do it with Amazon you can do it with eBay you can do it with Best Buy and do it with whatever website you want and the craziest part is that this is only one of the functions that Browser Act offers because if we go back over here in our original dashboard we can see that we just created an AI agent but we also have AI workflows where if we actually go inside our AI workflows we can come over here click on create we simply need to give our AI workflow a name let's name it workflow for this example and then we come over here and we click on create this simple visual drag and drop editor opens up where we can basically build our own scraper completely by ourselves because before with the AI agent we basically let it do all the work but if we want to really customize this and to have full control over exactly what we're scraping we can come over here and build our own AI workflow and this is actually way simpler than any 10 guys all you have to do is come over here and add in your input parameters let's say for example again we wanted to scrape Amazon we'll come over here and we'll name this Amazon Amazon, and then we would add in any login credentials if we actually needed them for the trigger which in our case we don't really need and then we can basically go and add in any of these nodes over here now the first thing that we would obviously do is visit a page and over here we basically would need to describe what page are we going to be visiting for our example it would be Amazon of course and then we would come again click on the plus icon and then we would need to add in some click elements basically telling the AI exactly where it needs to click in the screen so you basically go over the whole process oh it needs to click in the search bar of course then after I clicked on the search bar it would obviously need to search for the query that we are searching for so we would obviously come over here and add in the input text section and I think you get the point that's how you basically manually are able to build for workflow completely by yourself again if you want to have full customizability of exactly how your scraper works but I get that you might not actually want to come over here and build a whole workflow from the start that's why if we actually close this feature off and we come over here to the template marketplace we can basically see all the templates that browser act has which are basically workflows that are already built for us and we can simply click them and use them and as you can see they have a bunch of templates over here with a bunch of different categories guys and they also if you come over here in the second page have an appify tool scraper which if you're actually using appify it's going to come in very handy simply because you will not have to pay the expensive appify plan and you will be able to access it from this scraper over here but let's say for example we wanted to scrape google news all we have to do is come over here and select the google news scraper template and then over here we can see the workflow we can come over here and click on use and boom over here the whole workflow populates for us automatically so we can actually if we want come over here and edit it out we can change what it needs to click on we can change if it needs to scroll or not we can basically customize it exactly as we want but if we don't want to do that and we simply want to use it all we have to do is come over here and publish it and then we can come over here in the run section and we can actually use it from here well let's say we wanted to scrape google news and a data limit would actually be 50 so basically we want to get the 50 latest Google News. All we have to do is to come over here and I will also turn on incognito mode since I want to be in an incognito tab and then all we have to do is to come over here click on start and boom right now this scraper is going to start running and it's going to scrape all of the 50 latest Google News for us and you saw how we didn't actually have to manually go and build this workflow we just took an already built template and we're using it right now and as you can see right now it's scraping the Google News and we can also see this over here in the live browser view so all we have to do is simply wait to it is finished and boom guys as you can see it extracted 50 latest news from google news and if we actually navigate over here in the output we literally have all the data over here and we can actually download it in our pc as a csv file and boom guys as you can see i upload it over to a csv viewer and we can literally see all the data that we just scraped over here which is again exactly what we wanted but we're not done yet guys because if we come back over to browser site interface we can come over here to the integrations and api section where you can see that they also offer an API which what that means is we can take 
take the scraping API and use it in our NTN and make.com automations. And the best part about it is we can use an AI agent that we built over here in Browser Act and basically access the scraper from inside NTN. So just to show you how this is done, let's say for example, we want to access an agent that we have built over here in Browser Act. All we have to do is to simply come over here, open this up, and this is basically all the information that we need in order for us to be able to use an AI agent that we build over in our NTN automation. And just to show you how this is actually done. So if I open up NTN and I come over here and add in a manual trigger for this example, because the way we're going to be able to access the Browser Act API is by coming over here searching for an HTTP request. Since Browser Act doesn't yet have a native node inside NTN, but from what I have heard, they will very soon. So if you're watching this video two months after it was released, maybe go over to the community nodes and check if they already have made a native node. But since right now they don't, how you can access it is by coming over here to the docs. And as you guys can see over here, we have a CURL, which this is basically our best friend at this point. All we have to do is to come over here and copy it. And then we can come back over to NTN, click on import CURL, simply paste in the snippet of code we just copied and click on import. And what this does is it basically populates the vast majority of the settings for us automatically. So we don't have to do the majority of the work. Now, the first thing that we need to do over here is to input our API key. To find our API key, we need to come back over to Browser Act and navigate again over here in the API key section. And then we have to come over here, click on API keys. And now we simply come over here, click on create new API key. And boom, this is our brand new API key. All we have to do is to come over here and copy it. And then we can come over here and click on confirm. And now we'll simply come over here and paste in my API key. But remember, you should leave a space between the better. So it should be better, space, and then you paste in your API key. And the next thing that we need to input the two required VAT parameters, which is the agent ID and the task. Now for the agent ID, what we need to do is come back over to Browser Act, navigate over to the agent tab, and then we simply need to locate the ID of the specific agent that we created, which as you can see is on top of it over here. And then all we have to do is to come over here and click on the copy button. And then we simply need to come back over to NTN and paste in the ID over here. So now Browser Act knows which AI agent we're trying to activate with the API. And then over here in the task, this is basically the description which we type, basically telling it what we wanted to scrape. So for this example, we could say something like, oh, we want you to scrape the MacBook M4R for the lowest price. And then if we come back over to the docs, we can see that we can also specify some other bad parameters as well. If we want, we can specify the secrets, the save browser data, the profile ID. But since these are not required, you can put them on if you want. For this example, I will not actually use them. And then all we have to do is to come over here and execute the step, which as you can see, it successfully gave us an output, which means that it sent a request over to Browser Act to use this specific agent that we built and go and scrape Amazon for MacBooks and for Air that have the lowest possible price. So now what we have to do is to obviously wait till this done scraping. So we'll come over here and add in a wait note. I would personally advise you to put this around three minutes. I think that's more than enough time. But if you want to be fully safe, if you have to scrape a lot of data, you could also put this at five. But after the wait note is done, you would obviously need a way to get the information back into N10, for which you will again come over here and add in another HTTP request. And we will again have to come back over to the docs. But this time we're not going to be running a task. We're actually going to come over here and get the task. So we need to navigate over to the get the task section. And now, as you can see again, we have another CURL. So all we have to do is to come over here and copy it. Come over here and click on import CURL, paste it in over here and click on import. And again, this populates the majority of the settings for us automatically. Now again, we need to authenticate ourselves and we're going to do that with the same API key that we have inputted over here. So I'm we'll simply open it up, come over here, copy my API key, and I will come over here, open this up and simply paste it in after a space. So again, it should be better space. And then you paste in your API key. And then what we need to do is to turn on the send bot parameters and to actually configure the send bot parameters. Now again, you can come back over to the docs and see which parameters you actually need to configure. And as you can see, the only parameter that you need is the task ID, which is required parameter. So make sure you come over here and you copy it. And then you come back over here, you paste it in and I scroll down here. You can see that I basically need to fill in the task ID that we have from our HTTP request. So we'll simply turn this into an expression. I will take in the task ID and I will drag and drop it over here. So now once our request is done, if we come over here and we execute the step, we will be able to retrieve all the information that our agent went over and scraped. And with this way, we can basically scrape literally anything on the internet while otherwise we wouldn't be able to do so. Because if you think about it, guys, there's no other scraping tool that allows you to go over to Amazon and find the best possible deal for a specific product. But with Browser Act, you're actually able to do that. And not just this function, a lot more other functions. Since your only limitation is what you can build in the Browser Act interface, which trust me, you can basically build any scraper that you want. So if you want to use Browser Act to scrape anything on the web and also be able to use it inside your NTN automation, make sure you click the link in the description
description and you come and sign up to it you can sign up completely for free and every time you log in they also give you 500 credits again completely for free which will allow you to scrape a lot of websites with these credits and in the future if you want to upgrade of course you can upgrade to the paid plans which actually do give you a lot more credits and a lot more flexibility so definitely make sure you click the link in the description and you come and check out browser act in my opinion is the best scraping tool out there because you can literally scrape anything on the web but now youtube thinks you're going to enjoy this video so make sure you go and watch that next and i will see you over there